On June 4, 1942, the Battle of Midway took place. On the same day, Japanese carrier-based aircraft launched a series of air attacks against the U.S. fleet, which included the USS Yorktown CV-5. The Japanese successfully struck the carrier, and it was hit by three bombs from Japanese dive bombers during the first wave of attacks. The initial strike caused fires and damage on the USS Yorktown, but the ship's crew managed to control the fires and make temporary repairs. Two days later, on June 6, 1942, a Japanese submarine, the I-168, launched torpedoes at the damaged Yorktown, scoring two hits. These two hits were crucial, and the decision was made to abandon the aircraft carrier on June 7, 1942, but Japan wasn't done yet. To prevent Yorktown from falling into enemy hands, the destroyer USS Hamman attempted to scuttle the carrier with torpedoes. However, before they could succeed, the Yorktown and the destroyer Hamman both were hit by another Japanese submarine, the I-58, and finally sank beneath the waves on June 7, 1942.